Hey guys, what's up? So in iOS 7, which was released as a beta a few weeks ago, there is one feature that I actually like, and you can call it a feature if you really want to, um, that I actually like over Android, and that is simply uh, the 3D uh, parallax effect background. I think it's called the parallax effect, but I'm not really sure. And what it does is use the gyroscope in the iPhone 5 and 4S um, to sort of move the background and move the icons in such a way that it appears 3D. Not a big thing, I know, um, but I was like, oh, this is so cool, why haven't anybody done this before? Um, so moving over to my Android phone, um, it has just a, a pure, plain background and it doesn't move. But it turns out that this actual parallax effect, I think that's what it's called, and if I'm saying it wrong, I'm going to sound like an idiot, um, is actually been around on mobile devices for quite a while. It actually came out in November last year as an app for the uh, for Android on the Play Store. So I'm going to move over to my HTC One uh, as the main device and open it up here. And if we launch into the Play Store, uh, it will load up straight to it. The 3D Image Live Wallpaper. This is an app. It costs one pound, um, and it just it just runs in the background. It's a standard app. Doesn't use much power or battery, uh, and simulates this parallax effect. Um, but on Android, which is which is awesome. So I'm going to open it up here. I'm sorry, this little iPad thing going off in the background. It's iOS 7 updating, um, and we can go to settings and we can select um, what image to use. So we can select any Android stock wallpapers you want to use. So we can go through them. There's this one, which is my favourite, which I'll show you in a minute, um, all the way up to the top. So we'll select this one just to just to see. Um, you can then also choose a custom image if you really want to, but this is a little bit dodgy. Uh, if you select a custom image, it gives you like a square to pick from, um, but the parallax effect is still the exact same. Um, you can change the, the amount of um, movement that is made to the edges, so you can make the, the amount of edge reserved for the parallax movement um, bigger or smaller. You can change um, the pitch and roll, so tilt uh, and sort of glide sideways, I don't really know what to call. Um, and you can actually change the, the rotation lock thing about it too, and you can pan the home screen. So um, so I've selected a, a image here, if we go back to the home screen, the proper home screen, you can see that we now have uh, the parallax effect, the same as on the iPhone 5, which is awesome, and it looks much better on Android, um, and this sounds really fanboyish now of Android, but it does look better. The um, the, match, the actual amount of you know leeway you get is considerably more and it physically looks 3D on this camera. So I'm going to launch back into the app to pick a new background. I'm going to pick the background that I uh, actually pick, which is this one here. So when going back home and it relaunches, as you can see we have this nice effect again and it does look 3D. So there you go, that's a quick little video on um, getting the parallax effect from iOS 7, um, which as you can see isn't very deep. Um, but you can get that effect on uh, Android, which is awesome. It only costs one pound or one twenty dollars, I believe, or one twenty nine. I can't really remember. But it, it's not expensive. It it looks awesome and it works just as well. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to leave a like. You can also hit subscribe uh, for future videos and check a look at my channel uh, for previous ones.